Yamaha are taking their racing very seriously this year. They've come here to the ASBK and have... What are you doing up there, mate? I'm trying to do a serious piece to camera here, and um, what is that thing you've got there? It's called a, it's called a bop it. I'm uh, just honing up my uh, reflex, reflexes for the electronics. The reflexes for electronics. I mean, I know these things are very, um, you know, like sophisticated nowadays. I mean, what sort of things can you change on this uh, R1? Yeah, look, we change a lot of stuff. Um, we can change everything on the fly out there, but the main thing is like the traction control, slide control, and uh, the anti wheelie. So we just try to make it so the bike's more rideable. So if the conditions change, we can still maintain the lap time. So you're telling me you're out on track on the R1, and you're using this bopper thing to to uh, improve your reflexes and, and like, I mean, after about three or four laps, is that something that you might play with, like the traction control to make it uh, spin more or less? Yeah, absolutely. When you're travelling down the straight at 250 kilometres an hour and you're trying to get one little press of the button with your gloves on, you need to have good reflexes. So just hone them in there to make it a bit better. But yeah, traction's something that uh, we change as the race goes on as the tyre wears and, you know, it's all about trying to be consistent and, you know, 18 laps around here is hard work. They are pretty complicated as well, these bikes, because not only can you change your traction control and stuff like that, but also the engine brake control um, stops the rear wheel from sliding when you head into corners as well. I mean, is that something in change out on the track, or do the technicians do that with computers when you come back in a box? Yeah, look, the D-cell, like the engine brake control, is all done uh, in, in the pit box. You can't change that once you're out on track. So um, basically, we just sort of look at what it is, try to look at the RPM on the way into the corner and uh, say, look, it's, we need it to back in more, back in less. And uh, it's a bit of a funny track here. Normally, you would try to make the bike go in straight at most tracks, but here you've got to try to let it back in a bit to get the load off the front tyre. Right, well, um, there you go. A little bit of insight into the uh, R1 and the electronic package of it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take that and um, see what I can do. Thanks, Wayne.